Two years ago, I thought that building a physique like David Lee would take like a year max. I would be going to the gym for a month and then expecting to get like crazy broad shoulders after that. I remember me being so dissatisfied with my progress, even though I was making pretty much quite a lot of progress. I still felt small because my success and my expectation didn't align. I expected to look like David Lee within a year, but then after a month, I looked nothing like him, so I quit. And then I start to think that the fitness, the whole fitness industry, is a lie, just because my expectation was too high. I look at lots of body transformation videos when I was young. It shifted my perception of what is possible natural to something that is unattainable naturally. I was in this constant loop of being dissatisfied with how I look. Now that I look back, it's so foolish to expect such crazy results. And I don't blame you if you're hoping for like very fast results because I was like that. I got very heavily influenced by social media and what I saw online, and I thought was possible, even though I didn't do much research about bodybuilding in general. Before I tell you what I did to finally see results in the gym, scroll down, subscribe. If you like me, if you don't, then it's fine. Remember that I said that social media influence had like a very huge part of that, and it's true. A lot of things that you see online are very, very unrealistic. They have very, very good lighting. They have a very crazy pump on that day that they took the photo, and some of them might be even photoshopped. People that you see online on social media, on Instagram, on TikTok, like David Lee, Siba, Alex Eubank, all of these fitness influencers, they make their photos very, 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 very good looking. And as the consumer, you're like scrolling through these photos every few seconds. So of course, your brain starts to believe that this is what success looks like, and then you start to chase for that success because you're like, "Whoa, this guy looks good," and then when you look in the mirror, you look nothing like them. And then you have to do so much work. So is it even worth it? And then you quit. So it's this endless cycle where we have to break. And in order to break that, you must first change that belief of yours, that the results are going to be quick. You must understand that these social media companies, they are made to be addictive. Us consumers, we are very heavily influenced by it. So if you're not a fucking bitch, you have to delete TikTok and Instagram right now. There is literally no benefit in having these apps on your phone, other than like dopamine, and dopamine is not even good for you. So do that right now before you continue this video. Pause the video. Go and delete Instagram and TikTok right now if you really want this video to help you. After you deleted the apps, now we can talk about like the real world stuff. So, for like your training, your diet, your recovery, I would want to ask you: Are you even training to failure? Are you even eating like well? Are you even rested well? Cause if you're not doing all these like basic needs, and then you're just looking for like the next protein powder flavor on my protein, then you're not gonna make much progress, because these are the fundamentals of bodybuilding: your training, progressive overload. For your diet, you have to eat well. You have to go on a surplus if you want to bulk and go on a deficit if you want to cut. Your recovery. Make sure you're getting like eight hours of sleep every single night. If you're not doing any of these things, you're basically an idiot for expecting like results, even though you're not putting in the work. You're gonna have to put in some work. This is like the whole point of the game. If you want progress, you're gonna have to put in some work. If if it was fucking easy, everyone would have a six pack by now. Everyone would have that V taper by now. The reason that is, it's nice to achieve it is because it's fucking hard. So that's why make sure that you're doing all these things first before you can cope and like say that you're not seeing results in the gym. Going to the gym, building muscle is a progress, not an event. The social media problem that I stated just now, it makes you believe that things are like events. So, if you're consuming a lot of media and shows, chances are you have this belief that it's going to happen overnight, but it doesn't. Truthfully, like, you have to, I have to slap some sense into you and say that this is a process. It's not going to happen overnight, but with enough time and effort. You are going to see the results. Time is going to pass anyway, so why not be left with like the body that you actually want instead of being stagnant at where you are right now? Trust the whole bodybuilding process. You are going to build that ten out of ten physique that you want as long as you stick on this path. If you're actually serious about building that aesthetic physique, click the first link in the description. I hope this video helps you.